What's up buddies, Renz here, back with another video and in today's video I want to show you how to make eyes pop. Now to make eyes pop there are two steps involved, well there's actually a third step but the two main steps are first brighten up the iris and the second step is to change the eye color to any color that you want. Now make sure to check till the end because at the end I got some amazing tips for you on how to enhance the effect even further. Are you ready for this? I definitely am, let's go. Alright, so we've jumped into Affinity Photo and here we've got a photo that I just shot of myself and I want to do two things. I want to make my eyes pop and I want to change my eye color. Now you can see I've already created a curves adjustment layer. So this is the before, it looks kind of flat. I increased the brightness of the shadows a little bit. I darkened the midtones a little bit and I darkened the highlights just a touch. And that gives us this effect. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to create a curves adjustment layer to brighten up my eyes. So let's select my background layer and let's actually call this one eyes. And let's go down here and create a curves adjustment layer. By the way, if you want to use shortcuts, you can use command M that would be control M on Windows. And that is the keyboard shortcut for curves. Now what I want to do is I want to drag the midtones pretty far up to the left and as you can see this looks quite dramatic but what I'm currently looking at is I'm just looking at my eyes so I don't care about my skin I'm just looking at my eyes how that looks and well something around here looks pretty interesting so let's keep it up to about here and let's cross this off now the next thing that I want to do is I want to invert this adjustment layer so I want to invert the mask of this adjustment layer so with the curves adjustment layer selected and with the right one. So this is, let's actually rename this one overall um, contrast, let's say. And this is going to be brighten eyes. So with this curves adjustment layer selected, I want to invert the layer mask. So I'm going to press command I and that will turn everything into how it looked before. Now the great thing about this is that if we press B on the keyboard to select the brush tool and let's actually reduce the size of the brush tool quite a bit. Let's grab a soft round brush. And what we want to do now is make sure we have white as a foreground color. And now you can see that if I zoom in on one of my eyes, you can see that we can brush back in the effect. So if I would reduce my flow quite a bit, so to let's say 4% and maybe reduce the opacity just a little bit. I would simply brush down here on my eyes very gradually and you can see that we actually can make my eyes pop a little more. So this is the before and this is the after and you can already see that my eyes really started popping out or not popping out but here you see the comparison this is the before and this is the after. So let's do the same to this eye let's zoom in a little bit on this eye and do the same thing and just gradually brush in the effect. Now I'm not going all the way to the top right over here and that is because we've got some shadows going on. So we've got the left side of my face that is in the shadow and the right side is pretty bright. And you can also see that this eye is a bit darker than this eye. So we have a little less shadow at the top of this eye, which you can see. And I've left a little bit more shadow on this eye and that is just because there is not so much light. So the bottom part of my iris would be brighter than the top part. Before I forget, talking about brightening stuff up my friends at BenQ they actually hooked me up with one of their products which I can clip to my laptop which illuminates my laptop workspace and reduces eye fatigue. The screen bar light e-reading lamp is the world's first lamp that is specifically designed for digital screen time. It is an ultralight USB powered lamp that is made for people who spend lots of time in front of a screen just like myself. And not having the proper light makes our eyes work harder than they should and causes eye fatigue. This laptop lamp precisely projects the light to the ideal place within your workspace without any glare on the screen. By using high illumination efficiency and minimizing wasted energy, the screen bar light only uses 5 watts to produce the perfect illumination for a laptop workspace. The lamp is very easy to set up, made specifically for laptops and can be easily clipped to your screen without damaging or wearing it thanks to the thick rubber clip. 
Now, because I am planning on living and working while traveling around with my camper, it's important for me that my whole studio is portable. This lamp is made out of gerbil aluminium alloy and comes with a special case to protect it while traveling. Honestly, I never knew I needed this, but now I have one, it really became part of my studio, especially when working when the sun is set. The screen bar light comes with a price tag of $99, which definitely isn't cheap, but definitely worth it if you want to care for your eyes. If you're interested in a lamp like this, check out the links down below in the video description. Thank you so much BenQ for sponsoring this video, now let's get back into the tutorial. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to change the eye color. Now, very easy and basically the same thing. First, we want to create an HSL adjustment layer, which is right over here. And then we can zoom in a little bit. And same thing, I want to look at my eyes. So I can change the color however I like. And now you can see that my whole face is actually changing. But you only want to look at my eyes. So let's say we're going to go for some deep purple iris for whatever reason let's cross this off and same thing with the hsl adjustment layer selected we can um, rename this recolor eyes with this layer selected i'm gonna press command i to invert my layer mask grab my white brush and this time i'm gonna increase my flow and opacity all the way to 100 Let's zoom in on one of my eyes and let's actually brush in the effect. And now I want to brush in the effect all the way. And that is because, of course, the bottom of my eye is going to be, or of my iris is going to be purple, but also the top of my iris is going to be purple. So there we have the first one. And let's do that for the second one as well. And there we go. Now you can see that it turned green a little bit right over here. So maybe I can remove this part of or mask this part out and this one as well. This one. There we go. Now a quick tip, of course, probably you already know, but you can quickly switch between black and white by pressing X on the keyboard. So spend your time on selecting your iris. Let's go to the other one. Let's select this one a little better as well and use black once again. So I press X to brush out these parts because they turn pretty green right over here. Reduce the brush size and there we go. All right, so there we go. Let's zoom out. And now you can see I've got some nice deep purple eyes. Now let me show you the before. This was the before so you can see my eyes, my normal eye color. The first thing that we've done is brighten up the eyes and then we've changed the eye color. Now the great thing about this HSL adjustment layer is that when we double click, we can always go back into this layer and we can change the color however we like. So if I want to, some, to have some blue eyes, I would just shift this to the left and now I have some blue eyes. You can increase and decrease the saturation right over here. So if you want to have a more dramatic effect, you can increase the saturation. If you want to have a more realistic effect, you can decrease the saturation. Um, of course, you can still change the brightness of the eye and that is how to make eyes pop. Now, if you want to make it pop a little more, what you can do, so let me zoom in, which is a pretty cool thing. If you want to um, further enhance the eye, you can press Command L on the keyboard to create a levels adjustment layer. And we're going to increase the brightness a whole lot. So something like this. We're going to cross this off and going to infer the layer mask once again. So I'm going to press Command I on my keyboard. And what we can do, if I zoom in onto my eye, I can choose a very, very small brush with a low flow. So maybe some, yeah, let's say a 5% flow. And I will activate my pen pressure for this. What we can do is simply brush out some, some iris accent, let's say. So I will just brush in some of these things. Kind of, yeah, make some irish not Irish, but Iris um, accents, let's say, and just brush in some extra effects. And you don't have to be too precise as long as you stay in inside of the Irish. So this is the before and this is the after. And it just makes the eye pop a little more. And yeah, it looks pretty cool to me. 
So let's actually go to the other eye and do the same thing. Let's zoom in and let's add some of this some of these accents let's say so we're gonna increase some contrast and yeah basically just draw in some extra iris highlights just to make the eye pop a little a little more and of course i'm doing this with my graphic tablet you could do it with your mouse of course but this is just a lot easier to do with a graphic tablet so let me show you the before this is the before and this is the after so let's zoom out now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to learn more portrait photo manipulation, then I've created a playlist for you, which you can watch right over here. I am sure you will love this playlist because, well, there's going to be a lot of fun portrait manipulation inside. See you there. Ciao, ciao.